everyone, I am Lady Ray Ashland Dragon Elf and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, on my channel you will find that I post vlogs typically once a week. I am aiming for Monday unless something's up, something's bit off. So then either I'll just move it to Tuesday or I will skip it that week. Um, you will also find on my channel, outside of my vlogs, a wide array of content that I really do like. So you can check that out. Um, now, I forgot to mention in my previous vlog that I did go ahead and change my usernames and names on uh, several platforms that I'm on, uh, except they're, they're all linked down below. I went ahead and updated um, all of my links uh, that I have in these vlogs and also my daily art on my Elo account so that um, the links are up to date to all my other accounts. I forgot to mention that last week, so I'm mentioning it now at the beginning of this video. So, as you can see by the title, Challenging a Narcissistic Individual Who Will Loathe This Video. I am downright certain that this individual that I challenged will not be happy about me being vocal about my experiences. Now, uh, as all of you know, in my vlogs, I do share life experiences as like a teaching point is like, hey, you're not alone. There's other people that are experiencing stuff. And hey, these are my experiences. So, of course, I'm going to include me challenging a narcissistic individual. Now, I, I've been calling them a prick elsewhere, but I decided for... Uh, so I don't really get flagged for the title, just go ahead and call them an individual. But yeah, you probably hear me calling them a prick anyways. Um, well, I will get to that momentarily because it is pertaining to Lord of the Rings Online. Now, Lord of the Rings Online has been crashing, has been very laggy. They're working on the problem. It doesn't always seem to be fixed. And then it goes in and crashes again. It crashed like, like a day a day or two ago then a couple days before that it had crashed previously so yeah the the staff for lord of the rings online they're trying to figure out what's going on and not have that issue i do not know what the status is on the worlds but i'm just slowly keeping an eye on it now in previous videos i spoke of the kinship the cliff divers on lord of the rings online i will be tracking down those videos and i'll be posting a link in the comment section to this video because I do not want any of you going to that kinship unless you're willing to deal with the leader, Wolf, who happens to be the narcissistic prick. Now, various behaviors that Wolf has shown, I'll start with this one. Um, there's various events that happen and she often would hold a mo movie night. From what I've heard, it's always got canines and dogs in it. And why isn't there a like, I mean, there isn't a problem with watching videos of that, but when they're consistently about dogs, uh, we get that Wolf really likes dogs and such, but come on, there's other people out there that want to see other stuff. And I have I was looking at the, the voting list of what you can watch, and it's like, this doesn't make any sense. I don't see like a movie name or anything like that. So what does this mean? because she would list um, movie stuff or whatever you want to call it and I, I didn't see movie title or anything and just didn't make any sense to me so that, that was like a means of her controlling the kinship now um, there was one time when nobody showed up to movie night she got so pissed she snapped through a tantrum and immediately said okay nobody showed up we're not having movie night anymore and then next thing you know, movie night's happening again next week. And she, she'd she say stuff I like about, she'd co contort a sob story about herself, about how she's doing and such. I, I don't even know if any of it is true, whether she has depression or not. I can't tell. All I see is a sob story that somebody's trying to manipulate people into feeling sorry for her. Uh, she ended up doing that I, when I snapped at her. Um, 
previously I had several years, multiple years ago, I don't know how far ago, um, I was sitting in a cafeteria with my friends, my mom, a really good friend of mine, um, another good friend of mine, and uh, I think it might have been a friend of one of my friends there. Um, anyways, one of my friends, he is a vet from Vietnam, and these people, you don't just do something like with him. If you poke him in a certain area, you don't know if he's going to come swinging at you or not. There, there's people that are that way. You don't just walk up behind them either. But anyways, there's this young, there's this other student. She came along. She had this weird tendency of just going up to him and poking him, poking him. Why? I don't know. But as, as it was, I'll go and comment that you should really keep your hands to yourself. In which I, I get like the fun and such, but depending upon the level of the fun in, that saved more so for like friends, not some stranger that my friend and this girl was. So I go and say that it's best, better off keeping her hands to herself. And this other kid that had decided he would join us, but she was really weird about it. He was very insecure in his ways, but just the way he went about joining us, it did not sit well with any of us. So like we would vacate, but he called me full of myself after I said that. And I like, what'd you say? You're full of yourself. I slammed my fist on the table and I rose to my feet and I chewed them out. They didn't even know me. That, the reason why I'm saying this, that I had this, this particular experience a few years back is because that day I sat brewing on that whole experience for half the day. And I, at, this, at that point in time, I was not as well in the head as I am now. So the like four hours before I snapped out Wolf, Wolf had done an experiment, a social experiment, as she called it, where she took down all the guides that she had spent a lot of time creating, which I get that you put a lot of time into them. But why are you getting upset when people are asking other kin members for help and information? The social aspect amongst the kin. What's wrong with that? Why are you getting so upset when they're not checking the guides? That was the behavior and the mindset that Wolf had. It's just, it was pathetic. It was childish that she ended up taking all of them down to see if anybody would notice. A friend of mine, he tipped me off about it. And while he kind of suggested an idea of seeing if people suggested doing so to see if anybody would notice, it was like all it was was a suggestion. He didn't tell her to do it. And so he ended up tipping off a couple of us who were in the side chat and my, I was in this chat too, so I go into the kin chat and ask, where's the guides? I was looking, I wanted to look at some information in them, which I kind of did, but I meant it, I meant it was, uh, it was half lie, half truth, because I did want to, I wanted to know what was in the guides. I wanted to know what all guides were there, so then it, when I start playing, hey, I got this information right here in handy. But since I didn't know what the heck guides were there, I just went with Hunter class. Because that's the class I, I use. Which was absolutely pathetic. I, I couldn't access the guides because they were all, all gone. I didn't know what was there. So I go and ask, and then Wolf uh, takes me into a private chat and tips me off, or lets me know that she's performing a social experiment. I did not express my opinion at that point in time about this because I really did not want to act impulsively, which later I did, just like I did with that kid at school. Um, so I go ahead and, okay, thank you for the information that she went ahead and gave me. And so later I went on game, inside the game, and she goes and comments in the kin chat about nobody spotting the fact that she got rid of the guides. 
instant, I lost my temper. I snapped heavily at her. And as I just told you guys, I was pointing out some of the stuff I just said to you. And also on top of it, not everybody's going to be online when she does that shit. Same thing with the new movie night. Everybody's got a life. I'm getting very passionate about this, okay? And heated up about it, as I'm sure all of you can tell. It was pathetic, her doing that. Then I, I, I rattled her cage about it. About the fact that not everybody's going to be online. And calling in a social experiment to see what people are doing. That's highly off-putting. And she, she gets fed up over because nobody showed up for movie night. Oh, hey, it's canceled now. What? Yeah. So I blew up in the, I blew up saying all that in the kinship chat. And one of my friends who was previously one of the officers, he ended up getting uh, messages from other officers in that kinship saying that I have a point. Wow, amazing. They're actually seeing it. I'm actually glad for that, even though I came across a little so sar sarcastic just then. I'm glad to see that they are seeing that I am correct. I do have a point. Now, Wolf played it cool and all that. Then after I ended up leaving the kinship, oh my gosh, that's when it really showed how twisted she's got everybody in her hands. Because what, when I snapped about it, all the people in the kin were mad at me. I, I was only spouting out the truth, even though I came across extremely aggressively about it. And uh, after I ended up leaving the kin, the members of the kinship was like, good riddance, like three of them right in a row. Good riddance. And somebody goes and comments a bit later. Anybody who was, I guess, mean against Wolf to follow after me. Uh, I ended up finding out about this from people, uh, friends that I had that were previously still in the kinship. Um, I, I actually ended up getting a tell, which is a private message or a DM inside the game from a previous member of the Cliff Divers, and they ended up thanking me for challenging and calling out Wolf. Because they had seen how Wolf was when somebody left the kin. They had seen how she mocked them. As really disconcerting which they ended up challenging wolf and said hey i don't think you really should be doing that and she got mad at them and then they also found out that wolf was paranoid over other kinship leaders uh, and they ended up seeking out one one that had been mentioned and turns out the individual didn't even know wolf and so they ended up getting a laugh out of it, too. So, yeah, there's a piece of work in the cliff divers. I highly recommend not even bothering to enter that kinship while, while Wolf is there. Because that, that's just toxic. Highly, highly toxic. And about those sob stories that Wolf did... She ended up spinning this whole sob story about, oh, I was just get, starting to get better with myself. And then now, because this happened, I'm going to fall into this deep, 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 deep depression. Really? It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. It's, this is an edit, because I forgot a couple of details. Uh, anyways, you'll probably see that I named time frames in the video, but that's because that was my original recording of the video. Anyways, what I was saying, I, I forgot to mention that the reason why I brought up that previous story of when I snapped at that kid at school is because um, I lasted half the day 
wound up over the whole situation. But when I snapped out Wolf and vacated the premises of that particular kinship, I actually was, I ended up in a really good spot. I did not dwell over it. I was laughing at the whole thing. Um, yeah, I ended up joining kinship that I believe I mentioned somewhere in the end, later in this video, um, that I am not part of. Uh, one of the members that I, that was part of the previous kinship, ended up changing over to their kinship that they had, but nobody was in it. And so I really just, just went there, including the one that uh, sent me that tell that I mentioned. That we all ended up going there. We had, it was a very small kinship, and um, I ended up holding hold, holding a house party at my house in celebration to escaping a narcissistic individual and escaping the cliff divers because of said individual. And I really just had a blast for the rest of the day. I have not truly been wound up over the whole situation. Yeah, it is disconcerting and bothersome to a degree but I never held on to it as tightly as I did those years ago when I when I snapped at that other kid so yeah yay! I'm happy for myself and I just realized that my earbud's been running against my mask so you probably heard it rubbing against it this entire time I was talking well, yeah, I have spent like 15 minutes talking about that. I am currently now in Hunting Birds Hunting Lodge. I believe that's the name of the kinship. And we are a much, much smaller kinship than the Cliff Divers. Uh, a really small group. We're trying to keep it small. It's really just for fun, for play, really at ease. If, like, say I'm online and you manage to get a hold of me or whatever, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Um... My name on there is my current, I really wanted to change the name of my main character that I have, Berthril Gelweeben, because I named one of my characters for my world Cypra, Berthril Gelweeben, and it doesn't fit me anymore. So, um, but yeah, I will put down in the description my names that I have uh, for my, my two characters, Berthril Gelweeben and Alonis. Um, so, so if you, any of you end up on the server Evernight EU, that's where I play, um, you will be able to track me down with, hey, we could play together, assuming the game worlds are working. That's the catch. So, yeah. Now, I am going to go ahead and switch route to another game, GTA 5 Online. Because that is where the shenanigans are. And I decided to go ahead and include shenanigans to lighten up the mood. Now, um, in my previous video, I talked about the first time I was playing and in the online mode. I do believe I figured out the tutorial. It changed after a time where now you have to um, get through the Diamond Casino Resort missions in order to unlock the online mode. So I just... I skipped that. I figured it out on a side character. Um, but I did do some missions somewhere in the middle of the week with my brother. He had the 30, I think it was a 36 hour reset for his driving because he does drive truck. Um, he goes for a certain period of time, then he has to have a reset of t a time off. And so we played during that period of time. And so we did a few missions. I did not. We were not able to complete most of them, but we were able to complete two or three of them. And it was actually a lot of fun. Then my dad comes home from work. He does his thing, his usual thing about getting himself situated at home after coming home. And he ended up joining us on GTA. Well, somewhere in there, my brother got himself a dump truck. It was a huge dump truck. Um, my dad, I, I spoke in the other video, my last video, about their vehicles of where it, where um, it's got the booster to make you go fast and also jump. My dad was in his, and so he was playing around while my dad was running down, my brother was running down the highway, and so he managed to land himself in the dump truck. And so I, in my own car, I raced over to where they were, and I when I was coming up with my brother, I was going in opposite directions compared to him. 
So then I tried squeezing myself in between his front two tires, but I got crunched a little bit on the other one, so I ended up behind my brother. With a bit of finagling and a, bit of a couple of tries, I was able to get underneath his, the dump truck he stole. And so with my car being much faster than the dump truck, I was able to, uh, it seemed like I was able to pick up the speed of the dump truck. And somehow, somewhere in there, I got into the position that I bounced my dad from the bed. And so he ended up bouncing back up, it, jumping back up into the bed. And then I proceeded to get underneath again, finagling. It really, my brother, he figured out that I had actually picked up the pace and speed of the dump truck. And uh, um, it actually made for him to drive much difficulter. <laughs> And my dad and I, we ended up getting underneath the wheels. And with him, he ended up getting underneath the wheel and he hit the boost. And of course he shot out from underneath the dump truck and the dump truck bounced. Uh, playing around underneath that dump truck actually ended up destroying my car. But <laughs> well worth it. I think what made the difference with my car, because it was one, it was the very, the first free car, I don't know which one it is, that you can get. Uh, if, like you go under on the web on the in-game web uh, internet there we go and you can buy uh, used vehicles uh, there was a you can get a car and a motorcycle for free and I had the free car which I was driving around with I'd actually uh, done some customization on it and I took off the roof and I think that's what really made it possible for me to get underneath the car even though at first I couldn't truly get underneath it because I was too high. But because I got, because I snagged him, I was able to do all that. <laughs> and then my brother, he ended up trying to go underneath a bridge while my dad, he had somehow ended up on top of, outside of his car, as his character, he ended up on top of the, the um, dump truck and my brother he ended up he couldn't drive straight forward underneath a bridge to uh the auto re or where your cars are deposited when they've been totaled so you can purchase at the fix and they get dropped off there um but my brother he ended up backing up to go underneath the bridge and then my bro my dad he ended up glitched jumped up on top of the bridge and then ran across it and then landed in back in the dump truck. And I ended up seeing that from the ground because I was in my car. <laughs> yeah, we, we were having a bit of fun with that. That was in the middle of the week. Um, me snapping at Wolf was definitely, that was towards the end of the week. I don't remember. But yeah, she's not going to be happy about in this video me calling her out on the vlogs. But hey, Wolf, you already know that I do these vlogs. You already know that I've spoken about the Cliff Divers. If I'm not going to be happy about something in the Cliff Divers, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, assuming she even sees that, which she's probably just going to, if she even knows about this, then decides to flag it. She's not going to even watch these 21 minutes of it. Okay, so I'm going to be tracking down my stats on my daily art pieces to see like um, how many likes and interests people have on it because I am I am very curious on that, um, especially for the first 19 of my drawings of my daily hand art series. I am going to be getting info on postage and a printing shop. Um, I know the printing shop I'm planning on getting information in the upcoming days. And somewhere in there I'll get information on postage as well because uh, because I'm going to be mailing out these copies of my daily hand art series. Uh, it's definitely stuff I need to know. So um, I think there was something I just wanted to say but I forgot what it was. I have no idea. 
Oh well, I am going to go ahead and call that good, I think. Oh yeah! Now, um, those of you that have been following my daily hand art series, you will notice that I did do two of them that were pertaining to me snapping at Wolf and feeling good about it the next day. Um, so yeah, those, those are there on my social medias, uh, groups, hello as well. Yeah. So yeah, I am continuing working on the daily hand art series, though um, over the weekend I was not able to because my hands really did cramp up a lot. I, when I walk with my cane, I really grip the handle because I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Um, so my hands, because I haven't really been stretching them out enough, they ended up cramping up. And I know with my plantar fasciitis, I have to really do more stretching than I have been. And also the fact that I'm in my sandals again today, um, that's not really going to help because the shoes that I have been wearing, though I do need new shoes, those ones are worn out immensely. Um, uh, I, th those are still better than my sandals because there's a lot more cushion on the heel. Um, but yeah, in time I'll definitely replace my sneakers and these sandals will probably get replaced too. But yeah, I do need to do much more stretching with my feet and hands. Otherwise it's just going to compound and I think my heel hurts. Yeah, speaking of, ow. Yeah, I've been sitting here altering how I have my legs positioned. But yeah, there, there's a few things I need to work on. Um, I do need to work on using more of my uh, agenda book so it's, it's really really nice really really handy I really need to schedule out my days more I need to follow through with uh, self-care uh, various things of that which includes the stretching of the limbs I'm currently stretching my foot over there I don't even know if you saw that when I flipped my phone around so is there anything else I wish to add oh yeah today at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do have an appointment with my therapist. So I will be doing that, that and talking about things. Um, yesterday I did feel heavily overwhelmed with life and disappointed with myself because I've been slacking and being lazy. Um, so yesterday was a bit rough So and I also did not feel like reaching out to the fact that this appointment was already pre-planned for me to uh, see my therapist it's it, I feel like it's very nice that it was already set in stone because I probably would have flaked and not done it otherwise so yeah uh, th those are all my updates for today's vlog 26 minutes so far uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call that good all of you take care of yourselves Try not to let somebody that is being a jerk get the better of you. You are better than that. I guarantee it. You are better than that. So, ad astra to the stars.